Welcome to the FitPro training app. This is Trainer Tia here coming at you with a how-to on how to use this video. So um, first things first, I hope that you've discovered by now, you must have since you're listening to me, to uh, make sure your volume is on on your phone. If you can't hear me right now, make sure your volume is flipped on right here, okay? Not just up on the dial, but turned on, okay? That's really important. That took me like a month to figure out before I realized that that was the problem. So welcome to the app, welcome to your program. Um, this is the general how-to video for all programs, so um, if you have a more specific video, I will assign that to you. Please watch that as well, but let's get to it. So this app is pretty intuitive on most things. Um, I feel like you probably uh, wouldn't need to watch this video to figure out how to use most of the app, but there are a couple things in here that are tricky that are not exactly where you would think they would be, so please watch it through to the end. I'll go as fast as I can, all right? So um, when you open the app, your home screen looks something like this. Now I've got my uh, my personal training client, Trey, he volunteered for me to use his profile here, so he doesn't mind. He cleared that with me, but his profile looks like this. This is your home screen, okay? You can change your picture. This just shows my picture up there right now, um, but you are welcome to change your picture if, you, um, if, you, if you'd like, okay? So once you open your app here, um, first, you'll see messages, okay? So if I'm sending you anything, um, if I'm trying to communicate with you, um, sometimes I'll text you, but if it's it's sometimes I'll text you through the app. So if you have a one right there above messages, then please read it because it's probably something that I need to tell you. All right. So there's messages number one. Um, assessments we will not use quite as much, if at all. So if I open assessments, it's blank. Um, I might assign weight in there or pictures, um, but for the most part, we won't use assessments very much. But forms, if I click under here, um, now Trey doesn't have it, but under forms you'll have your waiver under there, I do believe. So um, check under forms when you first open this app and make sure if there's something in there that I probably need you to sign, go ahead and do that. Okay, so going back to the home screen. Now, what you'll see here are your first couple of workouts each uh, coming up in the, in the schedule. Okay, so he's got his week of workouts right here. Um, one really important thing, when you finish a workout, please make sure that you mark it checked. You're gonna click that little check right there. Um, that tells me that the workout was not just scheduled, but that you actually completed it. So um, make sure that you're doing that. If you're doing it from the web portal or you're logging in from Android, I believe you have to mark it as completed after you go through the app. Uh, I'm sorry, through the workout. But you do want to click on that and make sure that you've got that checked off. That way I know that it's done. So I'm going to uncheck that since he hasn't done that yet. And so that's your home screen, okay? Your settings are up here in the corner. If you have an Android, it's going to look slightly, slightly different, but all of this should be um, easily findable, easily viewable in just a little bit of a different look on the Android, okay? Um, so if I click now on schedule, schedule is right here. Um, what you'll see here is, is, a, <laughs> is a scrubber of, um, of, of dates, okay? So you can scroll through week to week, so that's the next week. That's the previous week, right? So you can just scroll through there um, to get to different weeks. You can also do a week view up here if you'd like. I usually use the day by day, right? So I click right here to go from day to week. And so here you are. Now you can scroll and touch each date to go from Wednesday to, to Thursday, etc. And you'll see what's in there on each day. Now, if you're doing an online program, most likely I don't, care as much about the order of your workouts. So if you want to move something, you're welcome to move it. If you're doing um, a 30 day challenge or, or something that is very specific, I would like you to not move the workouts, maybe message me to make sure. Um, but if this is a choice program or a general program, you're welcome to move workouts wherever you need. And to do that, now I can't, I can't do it here on my, um, on my end in the app because I'm logged in as the trainer. But from your end, what you're going to do, see this little arrow right here? You're going to click on that. There should be three dots right there, and you should be able to click move, event, or something similar like that if you want to move it to a different day. You're, you can also do all of this from your web login. Um, if you go to my website, fitprollc.com, and click on client login, you can get all of this um, app information there in the login uh, as well on, from, on my website. So, okay, now let's say you're you're on, here's Monday, so we want to text, or we want to we want to click on the workout for the day. Okay, so it, it opens something like this. Okay, now notice here, right here where it says notes. You wanna read, the, read those very carefully, okay, because um, sometimes I can't tell you everything that you need to know in just the workout prescription alone. So make sure that when you open a workout very first that you're reading those notes. 
Okay, that's really important. And then you'll see a general overview of the workout here, sets and supersets and all that jazz. Then you have to hit start and it opens. Now you have two views here, okay? So this is the set by set view. And notice there are more notes right here on this particular exercise, on exercise number one. Again, read those very carefully. Those are very important. Um, you can scroll through exercise by, or I'm sorry, set by set, or once you're, once you're established and you know the techniques and you perhaps don't need to go set by set and you don't need to watch the videos anymore, click right here in the upper corner and now you have a general workout overview where you can make your notes right there, okay? So most clients, once they get the hang of things, they use that expanded view, um, but when you're new, you might wanna use the set by set view. Um, either one will get the job done, okay? Now, as you're going through each workout, now this is something worth noting, okay? Um, I highly recommend when you get the workouts each week or each night, screenshotting the workouts while you have access to them, okay? Because sometimes the app does go down and this is a really unfortunate reality with technology. It doesn't happen often, but I would hate for you to be at the gym or ready to start your workout at the moment, you know, at the, at the limited time that you have and at the moment of you starting it, the app goes down and you have no idea what the workout is for the day. So please make sure that you're screenshotting the workouts. You can just delete those screenshots later. Um, but technology does fail sometimes and I want to make sure that that you guys have the workouts when you need them. Because we're all on tight schedules and I know that um, when it's time to work out, you want to make sure that you get it in at that time. So screenshot each workout when you get it. Um, and then so next topic is making notes on the workout. Okay, now this is worth noting. So see here on seated overhead press, this awesome still shot of me here. Um, see these, uh, what do we have here? 1RM, 3RM, 5RM. Most of you shouldn't see those because I got rid of those before you joined. But for those of you that are watching this video again, perhaps, or if these show up for you for some reason that I need to fucking figure out, um, disregard those, okay? Those were formerly the rep max fields, AKA your PRs or your record trackers. Um, only your top achievements were tracked there, but we're not gonna use those anymore. So disregard those for now, okay? When you're entering notes on your workout, I want you to put them right here under notes, okay? And you're gonna click there on, there I go, now I got it. Click on notes and put everything that you're doing in there, okay? Now, this is something really important, okay? As a trainer, I just want you guys to know that you know, I've been tracking records for a long time in the gym, 10 years, whatever, and I really only care about the big lifts, okay? And I only care about your top set, aka how much the heaviest that you were able to do at the top of your exercise, okay? So as a trainer, I don't really track every single set that you do, but I have plenty of clients who are maybe newer or who are just meticulous for the fun of it who prefer to um, track every single set, warm-up sets, um, everything in between the five sets that it took them to get up to their max, they want to track all of that, and that's fine. If that's the kind of client that you are, um, no harm, no foul, uh, go ahead and start tracking that in notes. But what I recommend, the minimum, what you really only need is your maximum, maximum weight that you did or the um, maximum number of reps or something like that. Okay, so keep that in mind. Um, we're all short on time, so if you don't want to be extra meticulous with your note tracking, just track the top end weights. That's really all we need, okay? But if you want to be thorough, be my guest. No problem, okay? Now let's say you're in here and you're like, okay, well, what did I do last week? All right, so you're going to click on these little, this little graph, this little data plot right there, and it's going to pull up your history, okay? Now you see this little entry right here that has a note next to it. You can click on that, and it'll expand the information that's in there, okay? So... All of your history is there and all of your specifics are even further detailed if the note has a little note icon next to it, okay? So, uh, let's see, what else? I think that's it. I think that's all that I wanna say about, um, about going through each workout and making records. Okay, now let's, let's transition to where you're gonna actually store all of your PRs, okay? So let's say you're in this workout and you hit a, a record on overhead press, okay? You're going to double enter that, okay? That's really important. You're gonna double enter that into not only the actual workout, the actual um, entry for that day, but then you're also gonna put it separately in your results tracker, so let's go there now. So if I back out of this and I go back to the home screen, I'm gonna click over here on tracking, results tracking right here. Okay, now what you're gonna see here are all of your PRs, as well as inches, if you're measuring inches, with all my personal training clients, we measure inches, 
as well as weight. Weight is in here as well if you're tracking weight at home. Um, I also have total cardio per week by minutes and total lifts per week by sessions. Okay, so if anything that you want to track in there, it goes there and it, per it, it creates a nice little data plot for you to see um, how much you've done when. Okay, so um, all of your PRs go in here. So let's say you had an overhead press two rep max for two reps, you're gonna click there and you're gonna put that weight for those dumbbells or those barbells or whatever the entry calls for right there, okay? So when you hit a PR, double track it, put it in the workout itself and also in your results tracking, okay? And if you wanna track your inches and your weight, all of that, that also goes into results tracking right here, okay? So I think that covers that segment of the app. So if I go back here, also under tracking, we have progress photos. These are pretty self-explanatory. I recommend these at the start of every single program and periodically, at least monthly or quarterly, um, just to take note of what's going on. Are you getting bigger? Are you getting smaller? Are you getting more cut? Are you building muscle? Are you changing in whatever way? Okay, so progress pictures are really important. Um, food diary, uh, we use MyFitnessPal. I don't love the integration with the app here, so forget about that. Adherence chart and habits, forget about those as well. But that's the tracking tab. Okay, so now let's go over to coaching. Coaching is right here. Okay, so this is really important. So this is your library, okay, right here. Um, if you go under videos, you'll see I have, I don't know, a dozen or, or 20 of, uh, of the most important videos on how to warm up. Um, this video is under there, um, how to talk about calories and, and understanding supplements and macronutrients and all of that. There are so many key videos in here. Um, I highly recommend watching as many of them or all of them if you can, but those are forever gonna be there under your coaching videos. If I go back here under PDFs, um, I, I don't, he has a personal training and team training policies under here. Um, online clients, you may not have more than just your initiation materials. Your initiation materials might be under there, um, but we won't put a whole lot under there, but definitely check to see what has been assigned to you under that tab. Um, now text documents, okay, so we've got a couple of key things under here. Your food log assessments will be under here. Um, I'm not sure for most of my choice programming clients if you'll have all the rest of these, but your food logs are definitely there under um, text documents as well. For some of my online programming clients, you might not have anything in there, don't worry. If you feel like you should have something in there that's not in there, message me and I'll, I'll double check on that. Um, now here is programs, okay, so I'm, I'm here in this tab right there, programs. He only has the one program in there right now and you might only have one, but let's say you're currently doing program X and you want to go back to program A that you did last year while you still have app access, that's how you do it. Okay, um, let's see, what else? Record tracking. Um, oh, one more thing. If you open this app, then you should have seen by now the this video how to use the fit pro app maybe the initiation materials for your program popped up make sure that you find those and the waiver okay if the waiver did not pop up and you're watching this video and that's not clearly clearly um able to be found in your in your app materials then that's an issue okay so please message me and we'll make sure that you get the waiver um please don't participate in this program until i give you that waiver that would help me out very much and it's um, not encouraged to, to, to participate without that waiver. So make sure that you get that from me if you need it. Okay, um, I think that's it. I think that's everything. Um, this video is way too long, as always. If there are any other questions along the way on the app, please feel free to message me, and I will make sure that you have everything that you need. Uh, enjoy your Fit Pro training experience, and uh, push yourself.